talk about this dynamite show here. I found the show to be dynamite, especially that opening match. CM Punk and Dustin Rhodes had an awesome wrestling match. That's Punk's new gimmick, pro wrestler. A bunch of wrestling matches, and there's holds and psychology and selling and nothing like. This is new. It is actually. I mean, well, they would never let him do these kind of matches in WWE. Well, Just like go in there and do old school psychology laden matches where he can do whatever you want. He it's never awesome. forgot who he was. Him and Dustin so. got in there, and you know they had all these great spots and Punk working he, over his leg and the old school figure four, and then Punk's knee was injured, and then his knee gives out when he tries a GTS. So Dustin tries a sunset flip and he cradles him and pins him. Loved it. There is a lot of people who talk about, there are a lot of people who talk about Tony Schiavone and the fact that he has gotten such a rebirth in AEW and how happy a lot of people are that a guy who maybe got ragged on way too much back in the day is finally getting his flowers today and gets another shot and he's up there where he deserves to be. Dustin Rhodes, Dustin Runnels is another one. His entire career that was not spent as gold dust, he never actually got the due that he deserved. He was very good early, and yeah, his father was there. He, they pushed him early, but there's a reason they called him the natural. He was in a lot of ways. He was very good. But unfortunately, you know, he never got over that way before he became gold dust. And then after that, a lot of personal problems, a lot of issues. But man, what a what a um, revelation! But my God, what a athlete! What a wrestler Dustin Rhodes is, and I'm really happy that AEW's been able to give him the outlet that he really and so he can get the credit he's deserved all these years. All right, we got to get going here. AEW go. champion Hangman Page came out afterwards. It is Hangman versus Punk for the title coming up likely at the end of May. Wardlow arrived. And he's going to be wrestling the Butcher, but he has to be handcuffed. Anytime, anytime they said he's not in the ring. So apparently they cut all of his clothes off to get him into his gear. We had Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta versus Dante Martin, Lee Moriarty, and Brock Anderson. This was your party match for the night. Just a bunch of great violence, and they made the Dante Martin, Lee Moriarty, and Brock Anderson team look good. And then uh, finally there at the end, triple violent elbows. Moxley hit the Death Rider. I don't care what you people call it. That's what I call it. And he pinned Dante Martin. Loved this with all my heart. Adam Cole, Young Bucks, and Red Dragon promo. They're teaming up for a 10-man. Adam Cole says, listen, we've all been losing, but you know what? Nobody can beat us as a unit. So we're going to find out if that's true next week. Had a video for the Joe Lethal feud. It is going to be Samoa Joe and Jay Lethal, but they are very strongly teasing. Satnam Singh versus Samoa Joe for down the road. We'll see how that one goes. Maybe it'll be good. I mean, if I had to have a match and I was green, it'd be with Samoa Joe. We had the announcement of the Forbidden Door Super Show. And then we had uh, Wardlow versus The Butcher. And MJF is in the stands. And he's watching the match. And, uh, you know, Wardlow's got to be able to do matches if he's going to be like a main eventer. But nobody actually wants to see him do matches. They didn't care at all until he started doing power bombs. And then he power bomb, power bomb, power bomb, power bomb, pinned the guy. MGF is furious. Wardlow's going to be making his way through big dudes on the way to MGF and Sean Spears. We had Kyle O'Reilly, Jungle Boy. Owen Hart Foundation Cup qualifier. Very, very good match. Not a lot of heat. Fans just sat there watching. And uh, Kyle O'Reilly pinned him with the diving knee, bombs away, knee drop off the top. Pinned him clean in the middle. And uh, the story afterwards was Jungle Boy was so disappointed that he did not win this match. And he apologized to Canadian Christian Cage for letting him down. At an MGF segment backstage, he paid off Jake Roberts to hire Lance Archer to face Wardlow. Lance don't even want the money. Lance, it's not what you make, it's what you save. But take the money! Hook beat Anthony Henry. And uh, just usual hook squash. And then afterwards, Danhausen got in the ring. And uh, they did not give Danhausen a, a full promo or anything like that, but this was what I was looking for. 
Dan Housen says, you know what? These curses aren't working. Therefore, I want to fight you. And he jabbed his finger to Hook's chest, and Hook looked at him like, you're dead, brother. And off he walked. So it looks like they're going to be doing Dan Housen versus Hook. Pardon me, Brian. How, how did that explain everything for you? Well, anything? we at least found out the guy was a wrestler. We never even knew he was a wrestler. We don't even know that now. He's no, we are. He said, guy. I want to fight you. Yeah, They're going to well, have I a can... match. Dude, the, look at Andrade's boy at the end tearing off his shirt, wrecking shop. You know, these guys get involved. Well, he was also a wrestler. Uh, yeah, he's actually really good, too, but continue. We had uh, Frankie Kazarian's about to call out Sammy Guevara, but Scorpio Sky shows up and basically begs him to let him have the next match against Sammy. If he beats Sammy, he will give uh, Frankie Kazarian the first championship match. So uh, Sammy and Ty come out, and they are heels. They're booed. They kiss. (laughs) They get booed. Sammy says, look at you all booing me because my girlfriend's hotter than yours. Then Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, and Dan La- Dan Lambert. Dynamite Dan Lambert. Baby faces to the, almost said a bad word. Ethan Page is cutting this fiery baby face promo. Dan Lambert cuts a total baby face promo. Fans are cheering Dan. I know this disgusts some people because some people like they just hate the Dan Lambert character so much they can't bring themselves to cheer him. But man, he was a great baby face. And uh, they're going to do Scorpio Sky uh, versus uh, Sammy Guevara in a ladder match. And then after that, we're going to get the mixed tag probably at the pay-per-view. I'll go over all the lineups here in a second because, well, we'll get to that. Owen Hart, Foundation Cup qualifier, Britt Baker beat Danielle Camella. Just a showcase for Britt Baker in Britsburg. She's out there with uh, members of the Pittsburgh Pirates. False advertising. Whatever. They're not, they don't steal, and they're not pirates. False advertising. Anyway, uh, then she cuts a total heel promo, but they're in Pittsburgh, so everybody just cheers her wildly. She's burying Ruby Soho. They cheer. She's burying Tony Storm. They cheer. This was uh, this it sounded else. like me walking up a flight of steps, though, man. A little, little bit winded there. Excited after that match. So I know that... Uh, oh, get out of here, you idiots. It's a gimmick. So uh, they... Uh, I've, I've heard people make fun of, of uh, you know... Surprised you didn't go Penguins. The uh, the uh, poor Excalibur having to run down all these, these uh, lineups as quickly as possible. I swear to God, it was like a parody this week. I mean, I think that they pre-recorded it and then played it at, f- like, five times speed... <laughs> He was racing through these lineups, racing through these lineups. And by the way, remember I had that big argument with Dave a couple of weeks ago, and Dave was going off about how it was proven that if you just announce everything in the very last second, it's going to do better. Well, they did that for about two weeks, and now they're everything in advance. 500 matches are rattling off in advance here. Rampage. Adam Cole versus Thomas Shearer, Jake Cargill. I can't even do it. But oh, we don't man, worry. We... We'll have we'll have uh, Fauntleroy do that in a minute. <laughs> Dynamite next week. Hikaru Shida, Serena Deeb in a Philly street fight. Wardlow versus Lance Archer. Dax Harwood versus Cash Wheeler. Owen Hart Cup qualifier. Sammy Guevara, Scorpio Sky for the TNT title in a ladder match. Adam Cole, Young Bucks, and Red Dragon versus Varsity Blondes, Dante Martin, Lee Johnson, and Brock Anderson. That's what's Good. coming up here over the next week. Yeah, good. Let Tell me know. what's coming up. Damn right. I want a week to be excited about it. I'm mm-hmm. not on Twitter an hour before the show. I got a life. And then and the main event. Pr- you can prove that. Darby Allen versus Andrade in a coffin match. Dude, this Darby. Oh, my God. Incredible. He, he just got, well, he's incredible. But he got killed. Well, the last two times he's he wrestled Andrade, I mean, he probably should have just had an MMA fight with Andrade because he probably <laughs> would have come out for the better. <laughs> Dude, he's getting slammed on metal, and he's just getting ragdolled, and the coffin's got thumbtacks on it. And then, uh, you know, what's his name? Jose? Jose. Whoever this guy is, he comes out. He gets slammed on the coffin lid covered in thumbtacks. You knew he was in trouble when he took his shirt off. (laughs) So he takes that bump, and then Darby... Uh, does his, you know, bullet-style tope, sending Andrade into the coffin. He slams the thumbtack lid on Andrade, lays on it for the win. So big win for Darby Allen in his uh, 
Kind of his match now, this coffin match. Poor guy. Sting jumped off a balcony. Sting Sting uh, got hit with a chair shot to the back of the head on metal. Oh, looked like looks, the worst oh. thing that happened to anybody on the whole show, but he has to no-sell it. Then he leaps off this barricade, takes out all these geeks. Because they, they, did, they did it right. It's no DQ. So private party didn't stand around watching this. They were the moment the bell rang, they were killing this guy three on one. Then Sting comes out to even the odds, and he kills all those geeks. And then you know no DQ, so out comes Jose, and then he got taken out. I thought this was a, a great main event. And then the Hardys came out to acknowledge Darby and Sting. And uh, overall, very, very fun show. The dramatic reading of the Hulk Hogan Brutus Beefcake promo. Please welcome the Mega Maniacs, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Hulk Hogan. Well, you know something, Mean Gene? Now more than ever, with just one week away, I'm aware of how destiny is going to take its course, brother. Because just a few short weeks ago, bro... When I was laying in the weeds at Venice Beach, California, and I had Monday Night Raw tuned in, I saw Money Incorporated run across the ring with a metal attache case with the speed of a lightning bolt. And as it crashed into Brutus, the bionic barber beefcake, Blood Brothers face, I saw what I didn't want to see. I heard what I didn't want to hear. The emotions ran from head to toe. I chilled. I goosebumped. And I broke a sweat as I stood up, man. And I rushed from head to toe. I spent two days running up and down the aisles of Kmart, picking up that tonic, getting all that hair color together, and getting ready to do a number on Money Incorporated. I was sniffing for the hair tonic. I was sniffing for the butch wax. And lo and behold, as I kicked down the door of the Ramada Indoor at 48th and 8th Avenue, just a bit north of the Mid-City Gym, I found the brother, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, with his feet propped up on an ottoman, laid back in a lazy boy, watching Mo, Larry, and Curly with an ice pack on his nose. Thank God for the man upstairs that Brutus the Barber is okay. So I took to the desert outside Las Vegas, chopping down some big nasty-looking cactuses, trying to dull up the titanium steel blades, chopped down a couple of small mountains, and then it came to me, brother. I knew that I'd just throw the scissors away because I'm just going to yank the hair right out of their heads. So Las Vegas, Nevada, and the whole wide world, what are you going to do when the mega maniacs run wild on you? The Hulkster, Hulk Hogan, and Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, the Mega Maniacs, perhaps the next tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation. The Hulkster has never looked better live and in mint condition. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.